my first question is how canon is i am Groot to the mcu uh it takes place in that window of time right when guardians of the galaxy volume 2 ends and before the tag scene when he's a teenager so it explores kind of that post toddler era of of baby Groot that we've never seen on scene on screen before um were there any rules or limitations to what uh you can or couldn't do with i am Groot? I feel like I had a lot of freedom. It was um, it was really incredible and and refreshing. You know, everyone I've gotten to work with on Marvel has has been awesome and really sort of just let me run with my vision. Um, so yeah, everything you see on screen, I don't I don't think we really got you know told no to many things. I think we sort of wanted to uh, you know to to create these stories that were sort of. Um, you know, a, a, a little bit autobiographical to our own childhoods, like certain certain moments, um, you know, and, and looking at that nostalgia of childhood and then developing stories out from there. So there's a lot of things that, yeah, sort of just naturally, naturally unfold in the story. Um, and then we get to put that little weird mischievous group spin on it. Why did you choose to go with a photorealistic style instead of something similar to Marvel's What If? Well, you know, on, uh, at Marvel Studios Animation, we want to um, we want every story to tell us what kind of animation it should have. We want it to be born out of the creative vision of the filmmakers and not have like a house style that we always return to no matter what the story is. And and Baby Groot being born from the Guardians franchise felt like that visual continuity was it was important to us. What was it like moving from adventure time and summer camp island to something like I am Groot? Um, weirdly not that different. I mean, uh, just in the sense that for, you know, for each of those, I really got to develop the story myself um, and, and got to tell the stories that I wanted to tell. And I had, you know, this the same kind of freedom here. So, um, so I mean, the pipelines are different. You know, photorealistic CG is a very different pipeline than, um, than stop motion. Um, and even Summer Camp Island, which is a 2D show. Um, but, you know, at, at their heart, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not that different. You just get to tell fun stories. Did you work uh, closely with James Gunn? Yeah, we had um, we had several meetings with him, um, especially like the one that stands out to me is like our first kickoff meeting where we just got to talk about Baby Groot, this incredible character that he created and um, and just make sure that, you know, we were going to do it justice and and uh, and sort of understand what uh, what really makes Groot Groot, um, you know, at the heart of his character. And James gave me tons of, you know, great advice about um, about who he is. And I really kept that in the back of my head the whole time we were writing and all throughout the process. Did you face any challenges while producing I Am Groot? It was a pretty smooth production. I, I feel like uh, the only real challenge is just like fitting those stories into three minutes, but I think we were able to do it. And um, I honestly think they're they're better in their shorter form. I think there were versions in the beginning that were a little longer, four minutes, five minutes. But honestly, once we cut that fat out, I think the stories flow better um, and are you know more more concise and, and fun. Were there any inspirations for I Am Groot? I mean, I have I have a toddler. I know Brad also has kids, so <laughs> I think our our kids for sure serve as a as a definitive source of uh, of, of constant inspiration that's that's flowing around us on a daily basis. So for sure, some of that makes its way into the shorts. Thank you so much for taking my questions. Thank Thanks, you. Alex. Thank you.